Welcome in folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at all of the exclusive weapons that you can unlock with this year's Invaders from Beyond limited time event. But before we get into the video, if you can remember to click that like button so that more people in the Fallout 76 community can see this and if you feel you're missing out on videos, consider clicking that bell notification button so that you can keep up to date whenever I post a new video. So as always folks, let's get into it. So originally I had planned to upload a video today based on all of the Meat Week weapons exclusive to Meat Week. However, if you missed the announcement Bethesda made yesterday on April 29th, they decided to cancel Meat Week due to a bug that was preventing players participating in Meat Week to receive a vast majority of the plans that should drop from the event, and decided to replace the event with the recently added Invaders from Beyond limited time event. Personally, I have mixed feelings regarding this, but being a huge Mothership Zeta fan, I'm super pumped to have aliens back in the world. However, we're not here today to discuss that. We're here today to take a look at all of the weapons that you can unlock right up until May 10th. Alrighty, so let's take a look at some of these weapons and their modifications. So first up, we're going to take a look at the Junkies Alien Disintegrator. Now, pretty much with the likes of the mods that you can obtain with this weapon, you can obviously get the likes of the Automatic Receiver, the Cryo Receiver, which will obviously add cryo damage. You can obviously add in the High Powered Receiver, which will essentially make the rate of fire of this weapon into essentially a single shot weapon. Um, obviously, you can utilize the likes of Rifleman perk cards with this mod obviously if you want to go for the automatic version of this weapon then obviously you know you can go with the likes of the commando perk cards also as well you will get the likes of the poison receiver and obviously the standard receiver which comes default with the weapon now other than that there is no other mods with this currently there is no extra muzzle there's nothing like that but the one thing i want to add to this weapon is that this weapon will not break sneak so obviously if you're a sneak rifle build this still will allow you to be in sneak now obviously i know as you can see there, it doesn't have a suppressor on it. It doesn't look like it has a suppressor. But as you'll see in the video, you'll obviously hear that it somewhat is a loud weapon. And you probably think to yourself, well, here we go. Another energy weapon that we can't really utilize in sneak. But this actually does not break your sneak. So for now, hopefully that doesn't change. I hope that is just going to be a continual standard thing. Um, but maybe at a later date when this event is more sort of in rotation, maybe they will add more modifications who knows but for now there is no muzzle but it also will not break sneak so you can still use this as a sneak sort of build now also as well there's no extra skins none of that kind of stuff at the moment so that is all of the modifications with that now also as well we're going to take a look at the alien blaster so let's take a quick look at that so obviously the alien blaster has been in the game for quite a long time it's been here since day one if you didn't know that you can actually obtain one up in the toxic valley there's a ton of videos out there at the moment and also as well i actually do have a video here on my YouTube that you can check out. I'll actually link that, but obviously it's a little bit outdated in the sense of what the actual premise of the video is, but I'll you can I'll link it here anyway. But um that will show where the location is. But anyway, for the modifications, you can obviously get the likes of the long barrel or just the standard short barrel. Obviously, with the likes of the grip, there's the standard grip and then the sharpshooter's grip, which will obviously increase better recoil and hip fire accuracy. Also, when it comes to the, uh, the magazines on this weapon, you can obviously get the likes of the Cryo Mag, the Fusion Mag, the Poison Mag, and the Standard Mag. Now, the new magazines that have been added in to rotation to the Invaders from Beyond is the Poison Mag and the Cryo Mag. Prior to Invaders from Beyond, when this weapon was in the game, you could only get the Standard Mag and the Fusion Mag. The Fusion Mag modification was actually there in, I think it was one of the TNT bunkers. You can actually obtain that prior to this, but pretty much that is all of the magazines that you can get for the likes of the Alien Blaster. Now, in terms of the scopes, you can have the Standard Sight, which obviously is default with the weapon, and also as well, you can get the likes of the Short Scope. That's another addition to this. Now, in terms of appearances, a standard version of this weapon will look a little bit like this, but in the Atomic Store, whenever it does come around, you can get the likes of the Untarnished Paint. So that's obviously a lovely skin that you can add to the likes of this. Now, moving on to the likes of the Electro Enforcer. We're going to take a quick look at this lovely overcharged version. Now, with the likes of the mods, obviously I do have the overcharged Electro Enforcer and currently enabled on this, but the mods that you can get through this event are the Freezing Electro Enforcer, the Overcharged, which is the one I currently have, the Poisoned for, uh, version of this, the Spiked version, and this is the standard version of this weapon when it is applied. So this is 
is what comes as default when you unlock the weapon. But obviously with the spiked version, it will improve, um, sorry, improve armor piercing. Also with the likes of the poison electro enforcer, it'll add poison damage. Overcharge will increase energy damage, which is obviously it's a ton of fun to use. And you'll see that a little bit later on in the video. And also as well, the freezing mod for this weapon. So target freezes, causes reduced movement speed for three seconds, and also adds cryo damage. So these are all of the modifications that you can unlock for the likes of the electro enforcer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take every single one of these weapons and we're going to try these out on all of the enemies that Appalachia has to offer. So let's go. Let's go murder some enemies. Let's do it. Alrighty, so here we go. We're at West Tech and we are going to take a look at, first of all, we're going to take a look at the Junkies 2525 Alien Disintegrator. Now, what we'll do is once we're done with the Junkies, we will hop into a bloody build and we will check out the bloody 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload. So we'll check out the Junkies Disintegrator first here on the Super Mutants outside of West Tech. So let's go. There you go. Making very quick work of them. And also as well, oh, we got to reload. Oh, hang on a second here. There we go. Now, the one thing I want to point out when it comes to the alien disintegrator, obviously, yes, it doesn't have a suppressor. And yes, it does make a lot of noise. But the cool thing to know about it, if you do receive the alien disintegrator for the first time and you're wondering about this, this weapon actually doesn't break sneak. Even though, yes, I have gotten the attention of quite a lot of these enemies here. <laughs> getting rid of that floater and um, it actually doesn't break sneak at all so the thing about it is is that it's actually it has an inbuilt suppressor which sounds a little bit strange but you can actually sneak around in this so if you're a sort of like a vat sneak build you can actually still sneak and not break not break sneak with this weapon which is really really cool so as you can see there making very quick work of the super mutants out the front here did we get the little turret we did Alrighty, let's go and check out the super mutants around the back real quick let's get them I know there's a couple around here and then there's always a few few doges as well let's go and get them but I have to say though being a huge Mothership Zeta fan I was super pumped to have this weapon back in Fallout 76 or actually introduced to Fallout 76 it was awesome to see this I've always been saying for pretty much months before this uh, particular event came to Fallout 76 that we need alien weapons we need more alien weapons because the only alien weapon we had before it, uh, invaders from beyond was just the alien blaster that was the only one we could actually find we could only pick up one in the world we couldn't learn it we couldn't craft it and now it's here and we can actually use these weapons which is pretty cool all right there we go we'll get those doges and we'll also get this lovely super mutant who's up here there we go awesome all righty so what we're going to do is we're going to spec into a bloody build real quick and we're going to hop inside west tech and we're going to check out the bloody 25 percent faster fire rate 15 percent faster reload all right so let's do it let's go Alrighty, so we are inside West Tech. We are specced into our bloody build. I'll show you real quick that we have all of our bloodied. We've got Nerd Rage on, bloody perk card, and also as well, I just have Radical. Completely optional. You don't have to put this on. But as you can see there, my health bar, 20% uh, health. There we go. Alrighty, and also as well, let's take a quick look at this bloody alien disintegrator. There you go. 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload. Currently giving me roughly about 110 damage. Alrighty, let's go and check this out in some some super muties. Let's see what it, this is like. Alrighty, so the first super muty is gone. There we go. So again, by 213, 384 on one of those shots there. There we go, little doge. Another super mutant, as you can see, making very quick work of these uh, super mutants. Now, also as well, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to collect some toxic goo just so I can spec in and out of uh, being a bloody bill. So there we go. We're going to pick out some of that. And there we go. Gone. Very, very quick. Like, personally, obviously, with the likes of uh, being a bloody build, you are going to do an insane amount of damage when it comes to uh, when it comes to enemies. And what we'll do is we'll make sure to head on over. We'll check out and see how Swan's getting on today. And we'll also go and see uh, Swan's other uh, relative that's over on the other side of the Cranberry Bog. We'll go and test that out on, uh, on, on it there as well. We'll make sure to check out the Junkies one on one of those as well. We want to see what it's like on more difficult enemies or more tougher enemies but as you can see here making very quick work of these uh of these super mutants and as you can see here i'm still not breaking sneak it's still very much i'm in sneak so that is a great thing when it comes to the alien disintegrator very uh very optimal if you're a sneak rifle build you can definitely uh definitely utilize this in a big way 
Let's take a quick look here. There we go. There we go. Now, obviously, this is the automatic version of the Alien Disintegrator. There is a couple of different versions, which I did mention a little bit earlier on in the video. So, obviously, look, if you're wanting to go with more of an automatic version, you know, kind of like a automatic rifle version, obviously pop on all of your commando perk cards, expert commando, all of that good stuff. And then, obviously, if you want to go for the single shot version of this weapon, pop on your rifleman perk cards or the... Uh, yeah, the rifleman perk cards. Pop those on, and you'll be uh, you'll be pretty much doing the same amount of damage, or a little bit more, depending on your depending on your playstyle. So there you go. As you can see, oh, got to reload. No, 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 no. There we go. Done. Four fifty nine. Well, as you can see here, it's pretty much doing what it's supposed to do. Alrighty, so let's go and test this out on Swan and see how he is doing today. Oh, let's get that last doge. There you go. Alrighty, let's go to Swan. Let's try this out. Alrighty, so here we go. We are at Solomon's Pond, which is located here. We're going to go and check this out on Swan. So this is still the bloodied 25% faster fire rate. Let's go and see. Let's, just, let's, let's wake him up and see how he's doing today. Oh, there we go. He's awake. Alrighty, so... Good night, Swan. <laughs> so as you can see there, we made very, very quick work of him there. And then also as well, as you can see, that weapon damage is going up all the way to the likes of the 116. Now, obviously, with the right perk cards popped on, you can obviously increase the damage on this. But what we're going to do is we're going to spec out of being a bloody build, and we're going to check out the Junkies Alien Disintegrator on Swan's lovely cousin. So let's go and check out the uh, Junkies Disintegrator on another super mutant behemoth let's do it folks let's go Alrighty, so we are at pylon v13 so this is where you can find another super mutant uh, super mutant behemoth in the world so let's go and try this out in some fog crawlers there we go making very quick work of them and let's go and try and get this other fog crawler there we go be gone fog crawler come back here <laughs> He's gone off running. He's like, no, I don't want your alien weapons. You can't kill me. You can't kill me if I'm running away. I'm trying to put egg on my face for this uh, weapon weapon spotlight video. But here we go. Swan's lovely cousin gone. <laughs> we'll get the rest of these super mutants as well. Got to reload here as well. And as you can see, pretty much I've been making a, quite a lot of noise. I'm still technically in sneak. I know these super mutants are obviously firing at me here, but still they don't know where I am. Oh, there we go. The fog crawler's back for some action. And get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Gone. And still, this super mutant doesn't know where I am. So there you go, folks. That pretty much sums up what the alien disintegrator is like, both for high health builds and also as well for the likes of you bloody bills. It is an awesome weapon, an awesome integration to the likes of Fallout 76, and it also has somewhat very cool animations, as you can see. There's some cool little smoke just coming off the end of the, uh, of the stock there, and also as well, even the reload animation. Look at that. Pops out the little cell, pop it back in very very cool weapon alrighty so let's go and test out the next weapon that's available for the likes of invaders from beyond let's go and test out the likes of the alien blaster alrighty folks let's do it let's go alrighty so we are at the white springs golf club we're gonna test out this alien blaster here on the likes of some ghouls so the alien blaster that i have here is mainly aimed at sort of high health players so this is a junkies 50 percent vats hit chance 25 percent less vats action point cost and as you can see there it's currently doing a damage of about 72 i was about to say 172 no it's doing 72 pineapple and as you can see here i have somewhat of a sort of pistol build sort of done here now this is just a very very rough pistol build i have the likes of expert gunslinger gunslinger master gunslinger all in here and also as well i've popped in concentrated fire and tank killer to obviously improve the likes of that pistol damage now honestly this is not a pistol build that i recommend this is just a very sort of rough sort of guide of what i have in here and i've just mixed around a few perk cards but look 100 if you have a if you are a pistol build and you have the right perk cards for a pistol build obviously spec into that but we're just going to try this out anyway with the likes of these ghouls now there's a few perk cards obviously that i normally do utilize when it comes to being any sort of build but as you can see there gone that ghoul is gone now obviously that's a scorched officer or feral ghoul officer and uh, let's try this out on him there we go making very very quick work of these ghouls done and as you can see there done oh now he's done oh oh <laughs> now they're awake Oh no! Oh no! I thought I could have got away with that. 
There we go. Done and dusted. All right, let's try and go and get some more ghouls in here. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in sneak anymore, which is a not a great thing. But hey, look, the pistol is making very quick damage of these ghouls here. Here we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. And as I said, this is a very, very rough pistol build that I have going on here right now. So obviously, look, if you're a pistol build yourself and you know how to utilize the right sort of perk cards for this build, you can even have a much better build than what I have going on here. And you can be doing a lot more damage than what I'm doing. But this, as I said, this is just a very rough sort of pistol build, but making very, very quick work of these ghouls. I mean, oh my God, he's trying to... Oh, no. There we go. All right. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and get the ghouls upstairs. But as you can see, a couple of shots to the head and they're down. Obviously, depending on the rolls that you get with this and what sort of build you are, again, yes, you can be doing a lot of damage. But this is just a ton of fun to be using here. Like I said, I've always been waiting for uh, more alien weapons and more alien things to be coming into the game. Oh my God, I'm getting ganged up here now. Oh no. <laughs> oh, now it's a party. Look at this. <laughs> But as you can see, they're making very quick work of these ghouls. They're no match for my alien blaster. Be gone! <laughs> oh my lordy, it's a party in the White Springs Golf Club. I came here on the wrong day. <laughs> here we go. Hang on, we'll get one more. We'll, we'll, we'll try and get a couple more in there. There we go. Awesome. Happy days. Oh, one more. There we go. Is there any more? Does anyone want any more of these lovely alien disintegrator? Or not alien disintegrator, alien blaster rounds. We did the alien disintegrator before. Oh, you do. There we go. Oh, no. Hang on. Boom. Done. So as you can see there, folks, the damage numbers, 122, 134, all the way up there. Almost going to about, what, 100 and 170 in some cases. So yeah, perfect. So there you go, folks. That is the alien blaster. And currently right now I am doing 93 damage. And yet again, look, if you have the right sort of pistol build, obviously you can utilize this a lot more and you can obviously bump up this damage and your sort of play style a little bit better. But there you go, folks. That is the alien blaster. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our next lovely weapon here available for invaders from beyond. And that is the electro enforcer. So let's go and take a look at that and let's start uh, smacking some enemies. Let's do it, folks. Let's go. Alrighty, folks, here we go. We are currently at the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. So that's where we're going to test this lovely Electro Enforcer right now on some lovely Super Mutants. Now, real quick, just when it comes to the build, this is the current melee build that I have set up for this. Now, to also add, the Electro Enforcer is a two handed melee weapon. So you want to be obviously utilizing the likes of two handed melee weapon perk cards. So I have Expert Slugger here, Master Slugger. I also have Martial Artist on to make melee weapons 60%. Um, uh, way less, 60% less. And also as well, you can swing them 30% faster. So obviously a really good perk card to utilize with the 40% faster swing speed. Obviously incisor for the likes of your melee and unarmed weapons, ignore 50% of your target's armor and so forth and so on. Look, you can pause the video here and take a look at some of these other sort of perk cards I have on this at the moment. With the likes of the le legendary perk cards that I have here, I also have Exploding Palm and also Hack and Slash. Like I said, if you want to pause the video, take a quick look at all of these legendary perk cards cards and obviously as well the perk cards that I have here but what we're going to do is we're going to test out this this is a let me take a quick look here it's a juggernaut's overcharged electro enforcer so 40 percent faster swing speed plus one strength damage increases as health increases so obviously this is aimed towards the likes of you high health players now this does have the overcharged electro enforcer mod built into it I have this modded on this is one of the plans that you can get from the limited time event so let's go and check this out on some super mutants. Let's go smacking. Oh, he already sees me. Oh, does he see me again? Oh, I'm somewhat still in sneak. Can I hit him? Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, making very quick work here. There we go. Boom. Nice. There we go. 304. Getting 304 there with that electro enforcer. I think at one stage I called it the electro infuser. <laughs> it's like, that's not what it's called. All right, let's go. Let's get this super mutant. Boom. Ow. Okay, that didn't work. 255. Why aren't you dying? There we go. Any more super mutants? There's usually a few. Oh, is that a... It's a mole rat. Let's get him. Boom. Done. 498. <laughs> oh, let's not step on the trap. All right, super mutant. Your time is over. One shot gone. Boom. 
Now, obviously, look, if you're a melee build and you're, you know, specced into a melee build, you can obviously utilize the perk cards that I have on here a little bit better. Obviously, if you're a veteran to the melee sort of build in this game, you'll know exactly what perk cards to utilize for obviously two-handed melee weapons. But as you can see there, it is doing the damage it should be doing. And it is unbelievable and a lot of fun just running around and smacking some super mutants. Now, what I'll try and do is as well, after we've uh, made quick work of these lovely super mutants here, having their lovely little uh, sunny top ski lane retreat, we'll uh, clear them out here. They've been here way too long. They've overstayed their welcome. Oh, and look at that. Invaders from beyond has popped up. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a look at that at a later stage. Oh, I got shot in the face there by that missile launcher. Oh, mole rat. Boom. Gone. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this Electro Enforcer. We're going to put on our big boy boots and we're going to try it out on a Scorch Beast. Let's go and try this out on a Scorch Beast, folks. Let's do it. Alrighty, folks, here we are. We have our Scorch Beast here ready, our lovely test subject. This is the Fissure Site just below the White Springs Golf Club over here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to try out the Vampires. Uh, version of this here. So this is the Vampire's Electro Infuser. This is just the standard version of this weapon. This doesn't have the Electro Infu Enforcer mod built in. This is just the standard version of this. So this is the Vampire's one. Let's go check this out and see uh, see if this uh, Scorch Beast will land. We'll try it out on a few Scorched enemies first. Here we go. Boom. Making quick work of them. 207 has some damage. We just need to get the attention of this Scorch Beast and then we'll, we'll, we'll go to work on him. Oh, there we go. Boom. One shot. One shot. <laughs> now, obviously, folks, to take into consideration, I do have a few legendary perk cards on here um, that are obviously giving me a little bit more damage. As I said, if you're a melee build and you know exactly what perk cards to use, you can obviously utilize this weapon a lot better than I can. Um, but obviously, I've got explosive damage that's being done here with this as well. So just bear that in mind. That uh, That's what's uh, going on there. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Done. 557. All right. We just need this Scorch Beast to land here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to land. Stop being weird. Come on. Stop hovering around. Come over here. What about if I go all the way up here? Will this work maybe? Come on. Okay. Stop. Stop firing stuff at me. Where, where, where'd you go? Where'd the Scorch Beast go? Oh, there it is. All right. Come on. Land. You know you want to land. <laughs> Ah, uh, we don't have all day. Come on. There's people wanting to see what this weapon is like when we absolutely murder your face. Come on. Oh, here you go. Finally. All right, let's go. Let's make quick work. Boom. Yes. There we go. Now, obviously, this is the vampire's version, making obviously somewhat work on this Scorch Beast. There we go. Come on. Mm. Take it. Take the power of the alien weaponry back here don't don't you dare fly off don't fly off come on one more boom hey, hey there we go scorch beast eradicated done there we go folks all righty so we've checked out the likes of the alien disintegrator we've checked out the alien blaster we've also checked out the alien enforcer so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is all of the weapons that you can unlock with this year's invaders from beyond events so let's do it folks let's get to the outro portion of this video let's do it and there you have it folks that's an in-depth look into all the weapons exclusive to invaders from beyond hopefully over the next week and when invaders from beyond returns again that you'll be able to unlock these weapons and use them for yourself because i have to admit they're a ton of fun and if you like this video and found it beneficial consider hitting the subscribe button for more fallout 76 weapon spotlight videos in the future I've now moved to streaming three days a week over on Twitch so that I can focus more on putting out Fallout content over here on YouTube. So if you want to see my schedule for when I go live, I want to see these weapons or any weapons like this in action, or even just want to hang out with some of the Fallout community, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description below. If you all want to also connect with more people who play Fallout 76 and want to join our community, you can join my Discord server, which I'll leave in a link in the description below. If you like the work I produce and want to support me in a more personal way, you can now subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon members will get a host of benefits such as access to Patreon-only channels in my Discord server, where you can connect with other Patreon members and much more. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my followers over on Twitch and here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. 
And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, and I'll catch you all in the next video.